All right. It's day two of my vase building. Starting off this first row, folks, I got to really score up this top. And look how I'm using that fork. That's probably the most uh, common tool that everybody has is a plastic fork. Just get emotional. Dip that fork in the water. You see, I'm constantly doing that and uh, scratching it up. And I'm scratching the coil itself up too, okay? And I'm only doing this to this first row, okay? So I'm getting a little emotional here. I'm pushing it down continuing uh i'm actually right here i'm just gonna work that first row in before i get started going but i don't have to score anymore now just that first row because remember that that vase i started last class is a different moisture level now than this fresh clay i'm bringing right out of the bag okay so i'm building it up and i'm just constantly building it up and i'm trying to make it go in uh, smaller you know as the neck gets smaller towards the head so I'll, as you can see I'm applying those coils just a tad bit on the inside each time I go up and it's causing it to go inward. Then I'm, I'm see I'm bracing my hand, my uh, outside hand, my right hand on the outside of the, of the vase. And I'm using my other hand, pulling upward with my fingers to smooth out those coils, bond them together, getting emotional. And then I'm just going to start working them, working those scraping, getting emotional. Pulling that clay together. And look how I have my, my other hand, my finger, my thumb, on top of the, the vase. So just in case, I, when I'm pulling upward, it doesn't pull my coils apart. Uh, it's just a little trick, especially when you're working with smaller coils like you guys are. Here I'm working with bigger ones. I'll be honest, it's a little easier almost with bigger coils, I think. But um, just remember that. Keep that thumb up there when you're pulling upward so you don't pull your, your vase apart. And uh, just continue. Just keep getting emotional. Don't do too many at a time. I only go about three to five rows. Three to five rows. And then I work them together. And then continue that same process, folks. All right. Just keep getting emotional. Pushing them down. Not too crazy, but I am pushing them down. And then working the outside. It doesn't really matter if you work the outside first or the inside. It's, it's kind of a matter of preference. You can see me bouncing back and forth each, each time, kind of almost. Um, there's really no right or wrong there. Uh, sometimes I'll work the inside first. Sometimes I'll work the outside first. It's just kind of your preference. And I'm using my finger, pulling that clay up. Outside hand on the outside of that vase. You saw that. Okay, and I'm using that, that, um, that rib tool, that metal rib tool. Just pulling it down. Remember... You could make a rib tool out of an aluminum can, okay? They're pretty, just as good as the one I'm, the commercial one I'm using right there. The smoothing it out. Take your time on the smoothing too. Make it look good. Bond that stuff. And look at that. Oh my goodness. You can see that giraffe neck coming along. It's getting emotional. So today, I will add, start adding more and start working into the head part. You're going to see it all taking shape. All right. Stay tuned.